Welcome to our stock market briefing. Today, we dive into the calm waters of the ASX following a flat end to Wall Street's week. Despite some impressive tech performances, the S&P 500 ended unchanged, and ASX 200 futures hint at a steady start as investors await crucial inflation and employment data. Next, we take a look at Canberra, where a year after decriminalizing small amounts of illicit drugs, the city has not transformed into Australia's party capital as some anticipated. CBR night crew volunteers are busy providing harm minimization support during nightlife events, and while drug testing has increased, experts believe that effective health services are essential for managing substance use. The law is set for review next year amidst ongoing concerns about safety. Lastly, the U.S. economy continues to defy expectations, showing resilience even as fears of a recession loom. With a projected GDP growth rate of 3.3% for the third quarter, Kamala Harris may find herself in a favorable position as the presidential election approaches. Investors are keeping a close eye on job market updates, which could influence future Federal Reserve decisions. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. Australian Broadcasting Corporation reports that despite a week of solid gains in big tech stocks, Wall Street's S&P 500 index ended the week flat, marking its first losing week since early September. The ASX 200 futures indicate a similarly quiet opening as investors await crucial inflation and jobs data later this week. The market has shown caution as concerns grow over high stock valuations and increasing treasury yields, which have made equities less appealing. Mark Hackett, chief of investment research at Nationwide, noted that after a significant upward trend, a period of stagnation is natural. Australian Broadcasting Corporation also discusses the impact of the ACT's drug law changes that occurred a year ago, which decriminalized small amounts of illicit drugs. Contrary to initial fears of increased drug-related incidents, the CBR night crew volunteers and ACT police report no significant change in public behavior. Instead, those caught with drugs now face a $100 fine or a referral to a one-hour drug education session. While drug testing services have seen a rise in samples, police maintain a zero-tolerance approach to drug driving. Experts suggest that the success of such policies relies heavily on investment in health services and harm reduction strategies, as seen in Portugal's successful decriminalization model. The Sydney Morning Herald highlights the mixed finish of U.S. stock indexes, with the S&P 500 and Dow Jones experiencing their first weekly losses after a streak of gains. The Nasdaq Composite did manage a slight gain thanks to strong performances from major tech companies. Investors are keeping a close eye on corporate earnings reports, which have largely exceeded expectations, indicating that high stock prices may still be justified. However, concerns about rising Treasury yields and economic stability remain prevalent. As the Federal Reserve continues to manage interest rates amidst inflation worries, the outlook for consumer spending and economic growth will be closely monitored in the coming weeks. Associated Press reports that President Joe Biden has criticized Elon Musk over allegations that the Tesla CEO worked illegally in the United States while on a student visa. During a campaign event in Pittsburgh, Biden highlighted the irony of Musk, the world's wealthiest man, allegedly violating immigration laws while he speaks out against illegal immigration. The Washington Post detailed that Musk arrived in California in 1995 for a graduate program but never enrolled, instead focusing on his startup. Musk has denied the allegations, claiming he was allowed to work in the U.S., and called Biden a liar on social media. This controversy comes as Musk, now a significant donor to Republican candidates, is frequently aligning himself with Trump's anti-immigration rhetoric. The Economist discusses the unexpected resilience of the American economy amidst rising interest rates. Contrary to predictions of a recession, the economy has shown robust growth 
averaging 2.9% in real quarterly growth since the beginning of 2023. The upcoming GDP report is expected to reveal a significant annualized growth rate of 3.3% for the third quarter, nearly double earlier forecasts. This economic performance is particularly noteworthy as it unfolds in the lead-up to a presidential election, defying earlier expectations and indicating a stronger-than-anticipated recovery. Yahoo! US highlights the situation regarding Raiders' defensive end Max Crosby amid trade speculation as the team struggles with a 2-5 record. Despite the team's challenges and recent trades, Crosby has expressed his commitment to the Raiders and a desire to win now rather than participate in a rebuilding phase. Raiders owner Mark Davis has publicly stated that the team is not trading Crosby, attempting to quell rumors surrounding the player's future. As the Raiders prepare for upcoming games against the Chiefs and Bengals, the outcomes may influence potential trade decisions, but for now, Crosby remains a key part of the team's plans. Financial Times, the U.S. job market is under scrutiny as strong economic data leads investors to reconsider the Federal Reserve's interest rate cuts. Economists predict a drop in new jobs added in October to 125,000 from 254,000 the previous month, with the unemployment rate expected to hold steady at 4.1%. Analysts warn that recent hurricanes and strikes may complicate the interpretation of the data, which comes just days before the presidential election. The Fed's recent rate cut, its first since the pandemic, raises questions about future monetary policy amid signs of economic resilience and potential inflationary impacts from a Trump victory. Harriet Klar felt the UK government's upcoming budget is a critical test for its borrowing strategy to boost the economy. Despite initial optimism from bondholders regarding increased borrowing, recent market anxieties about potential fiscal rule changes have led to a sell-off in gilts, raising the yield on the benchmark 10-year bond. Chancellor Rachel Reeves announced a new measure to allow for additional borrowing, which investors will closely monitor on budget day, particularly regarding revised borrowing figures and future projections. Analysts suggest the government needs to provide credible guidance to avoid negative market reactions, although a relief rally could occur if the plans are deemed prudent. Ian Smith in the Eurozone, investors await October's inflation figures, anticipating a rebound to 1.9% from a three-year low of 1.7% in September. The European Central Bank has already cut interest rates three times this year and may implement a fourth cut in December. However, weaker-than-expected inflation could spur speculation for a larger rate cut. Analysts express caution, noting that the recent inflation data reflects a softer trend in service prices, diminishing expectations for a swift recovery in core inflation. The euro has weakened against the dollar, with further declines possible if the ECB accelerates its rate cuts, challenging the previously cautious outlook on monetary policy. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of six do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the six do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize six do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website. 6 dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email. Turn on the TV screen. See the world unseen.
shine is on the news tonight History in the spotlight Scroll through my phone again Find out where to begin Stories from the east to west Learning from the very best News in China every day Learning in a fun new way From the cities to the farms Feel the heartbeat, feel the charm Hearts through every word. China's story.